Hi, I'm Ellie from Clubhouse, and I'm gonna show you how to customize your Pendleton wool zipper pouch by adding a monogrammed leather tab. So I'm gonna show you how to personalize your Pendleton zipper pouch with a little leather tab so you can monogram that. It makes it a great gift and it's just fun to stamp into the leather and just make something that's a little more uniquely yours. So let's get started. This is the pouch that I'm gonna add it to, but before we do that, let's go ahead and stamp our leather tab. I'm gonna work with these quarter inch stamps that you can get on our supply shop online. And then I also am gonna work with a pack of medium double cap rivets and a four pack of round and tan tabs. I really wanna make sure that I am stamping on a hard surface and I have one of my tabs right here. And when you stamp leather, you wanna make sure that it's slightly damp. It's not totally mandatory, but it's nice to get a, a little bit of a more strong indentation into the leather. But the one thing you wanna look out for is you really don't wanna wet your leather too much. So it's just really lightly damp. And honestly, you don't even totally need to wet your leather in order to stamp it. Actually, if this is the first time that you're stamping, you can go ahead and practice on the little sample leather that comes in your stamp set. So I'm just gonna grab the initial of my first name and try that here, okay? And I'm just playing with pressure and I'm also just kind of seeing how that's gonna show up, right? So you can even practice on stamping the thing that you're gonna stamp onto the tab that you're actually gonna attach onto your pouch. Um, but a few things to look out for is you wanna make sure your letter is not upside down. And then you also wanna just use some pressure downward um, before you hit it with the mallet and just make sure that it doesn't uh, skip around or get crooked or anything. Right, so that's a nice indentation and I hit that with some medium force. So I'm ready to actually personalize my leather tab that's gonna go onto my pouch. Okay, I'm gonna check that it's not upside down. Center it as much as I can and just strike it once with light to medium force to get it indented into the leather. And here's my second letter. I checked that it wasn't upside down. And lastly, my last initial. All right, so now I have my leather tab personalized and ready to attach onto my zipper pouch. So let's just take a moment to set this up and see where we wanna place this tab. Now, generally, I like my tab to be centered width-wise on my pouch. And my pouch is nine inches wide, so the center of that would be four and a half. So that's right about there. And I also think that the tab looks really good about one and a half inches down from the top edge of my wool, which is right about there. Okay, so now that you've placed your tab in the position that you want it to be in, go ahead and grab a fabric pencil, hold your tab in place, and mark through the holes in your tab to mark onto your zipper pouch fabric, okay? So I'm just getting those marks in there kind of dark Now I can see them, they might not show too much for you, but make sure you do use a fabric pencil that you can actually see. So then I'm actually gonna take my cutting board and I'm gonna stick it inside my pouch because I don't wanna punch a hole through the other side of my pouch. I just wanna punch holes into my wool and my lining on this side of the pouch. So let me just show you what that looks like on the inside of this pouch. You can see the back side of the rivets there, just through the lining and through the wool here. So that's what we're going for there. I'm gonna grab my 
three thirty seconds inch drive punch here. Hold it over one of the marks that I previously made and use my mallet to strike it and punch a hole into my fabric. Okay, and then I want to do that for my other hole too. All right. So now that I have holes in my fabric, I can take my cutting board out and then I want to grab my two rivets and my hard surface here. Okay, and of course my tab. So I'm going to take my tab and take my two rivets with the stem and I'm going to stick them into my tab just like that from the right side. And then that's what the back side looks like there. And then I can take these two parts of the rivets and thread them into my pouch. Okay. Then I can flip this over here and I can see those stem parts of the rivet come up. The rivet posts are just poking up there. And then you can connect the caps on there. All right, and now this is ready to set. But if you wanna just flip it over, check it really quick, make sure everything looks great. And that looks awesome. And I can go ahead and move this out of the way. And I am on a hard surface here on a really sturdy table. And then I'm gonna go and set these rivets. So I'm having to hold this part of my pouch out of the way there. And I'm gonna grab my hammer and we're gonna start with light to medium strikes to coax the rivet down. And then when it starts to feel like it's getting set, we can hit it a few more times a little bit harder. There we go. Great. And there is my Pendleton zipper pouch with a monogrammed personalized leather tab. It looks really cute and I like just elevating the look of the pouch that much more.